all sorts of stuff. You know, we need to talk about that. How is that going to work exactly? Okay. How's that all going to happen? Well, I'm working on that. I, I, I have a yeah. meeting oh, scheduled with Donna on Thursday morning. Uh, Joel Bard was at the meeting this morning with the one of our Tucker folks. Um, he's looking at whether Papa Mary Fitch could fill in temporarily in some capacity. Um, I've, I've actually. I actually spent two and a half hours yesterday with uh, Susan Haber. Uh, Susan says she thinks she's interested uh, to, uh, to act as a consultant on a temporary basis. She'd be able to come in one day a week. She could do our Tuesday meetings, Tuesday evening meetings. Okay. Yep. Um, and so what I'm thinking now is uh, if, if Donna is okay with our also retaining town council in some capacity, we can split the work between what Susan can do and what town council would. But uh, what happens to all the stuff? I mean, what happens to what Joe does Monday through Friday? Well, we've been discussing day. that with upstairs, with Noreen, John, and Ann taking up some of the slack, coordinating scheduling of the Tuesday morning meetings. Um, with David and Kim, and, and Kim. Um, we've been discussing and we're trying to nail those things down. Well, somebody needs to be the contact person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and right now, in that office. right now, Ann is the contact yeah. uh, person. That's what I figured. So that's because she has an infinitely flexible schedule. Just it, she just yeah. keep piling it on. Keep piling it on. She yeah. keeps handling everything. Yeah. Uh, well, that's because she's going to Hawaii in March, so she's. <laughs> well, things. My fingers crossed. I, I hope that they don't you know, know that. <laughs> yeah. exactly. We're out of the woods by the end of March. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. It sounds very up. And I'm meeting with Susan tomorrow. We're going to go over, you know, like, um, also uh, things that about me assisting with the transition because some of these things that the board is going to be seeing in the next meeting, David, Kim, and I have been dealing with for the last two months. Um, so it's it's not a, a clean break and. and Get you. Um, you know, I am working with David and Kim and Anne and everyone and Susan on trying to dovetail. We just get so much business and it happens so quickly. Um, you know, we just in the last uh, last week we have three new RGFA submissions. So, you know, that that's not something you can just sort of unload on. But my sense is that Susan can handle with. Help from town hall. Susan can help can yeah. handle the RGFA applications and processing that sort of thing. And Koppelman and Page could sh maybe chip in with administrative support and handling the sticky stuff. You know, anything that looks like it might be problematic. And and with the town meeting articles. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So. What about the writing? Two and a half hours. Twist her arm right out of the socket. No, I just brought her up to speed. It's been, you know, like almost four years since she's been around. She misses the adrenaline. Though. Don't um, think she does. I don't think you can characterize it as missing it. Missing it without David. Wow. What about the writing of decisions in the same time yeah. period? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> Still got to work it out. Maybe. Maybe somebody from KMP could handle that. You know, it's just it depend. It, I don't know yet. That's a job in advertising. Yeah. Yeah, it's been advertised. We we've had two. Uh, it was advertised on Thursday. We've already had two responses. So looks good. Okay. Anything else? I'll say what's being said. It would be. Difficult. Yes. At a critical time, it will be um, that someone is in and kind of on on board by the time you know outdoor construction season, i.e., violation season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need somebody by April. Yeah. Something about courses and streams. Are you thinking? I mean, it's we're all going to get wet. I mean, you know. Me and Kim have limited availability to help. You know, we do the inspections, but we kind of depend on like a central clearinghouse for right. 
what's going on, where we need to be, when, you know, that. So, you know, I, I can't speak for Kim, but basically I show up here Tuesdays. I'm not quite sure on the morning, you know, like Joe just takes that block and sets our schedule for the week. I know. It, it's, we're going to have to just be flexible for yeah. someone. And we've been telling, kind of been giving everyone we see a heads up then. Talk to your clients. Do they have to submit or if they're about to? They should be virtue. <laughs> I think it's going to be a little oh, quieter. We have to know what's going to be. We know we got to do another one. All right, Joe. Last okay. Well, that's the the meeting. Yeah. Official one. Good night. Yeah, Good night, David. Uh,